Governor Polis signs two bills to give more power to the LGBTQ community as they deal with conversion therapy and gender identity. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Britt Marino, and Jared Polis, you might know, is the first openly gay man elected to the governor's office in the nation. Both of the bills he signed passed with bipartisan support. Our Michaelia White is covering Colorado first for us and joins us from the state capitol. And Michaelia, the community considers this one big victory. It has been plenty of celebration here, Britt, as those two pieces of legislation officially became law here today. Now, state leaders say it's been a long time coming for the LGBTQ community. Standing on the West Capitol steps, a group united as one. It's a real relief to know that I live in a state that cares about me and about my struggle. Governor Jared Polis was joined by Representative Denea Escar of Pueblo and Senator Dominic Moreno of Commerce City. Together, they made legislation into law. It's been a long process. It's been a lot of just suiting up and showing up, which is what my mom would always teach me to do. The other law prohibits conversion therapy for minors. I know people that have been in it, uh, and it's really a painful process. Uh, it's a way that hate is taught internally. It bans medical professionals from forcing therapy on someone in an attempt to change their sexual orientation or gender identity. There are so many areas and so many moments in my life where I've been denied the ability to just be myself. And I've been fought against. I constantly have to validate my own identity. No matter who you are, you know, you are loved, you know, and there are always going to be people there for you, whether you know them or not. And we are now the third state in the country to have non-binary gender options on IDs. Those other states include California and Oregon. Live in Denver, Michaelia White covering Colorado First.